Hey yo, what's crack like and challengers? I'm your host James Moreland. Right now we are at Petco about to pick up some API test strips. These test strips are really great for like testing your water quality in your aquarium, but we're not testing my aquarium. We're testing local pet stores and Petco's water. We're gonna be checking it out and seeing how the fish are doing and everything. It's gonna be really cool. Now, some people say test strips aren't the most accurate and there's a couple things with that. So if you leave them out in like a humid location that can change the accuracy of it. Um, also, they suggest like using bigger test kits like this whole tub, but the thing is we're not about to get a whole tub and set everything up. So this is gonna be quick, accurate, and fast. Um, even if it's not the most accurate, we'll still get like a, a pretty good range of the quality of water. So we're gonna test some betta fish also, like seeing what the containers are. It's just gonna be really cool um, and we're just gonna look around. All right, let's go. All right guys, we have the test strips and I decided to take it outside because of the audio and stuff. But uh, here's the tube and inside of here are little test strips. So on these strips, you can test the pH, the nitrate, the nitrite, um, the KH, and the GH. So all these things are really helpful to know. So the main thing we're trying to test for is the nitrate and the nitrite. Um, those two are the ones that mainly affect the fish's health. I mean, the GH and the KH and the pH do affect it, but those are usually a constant variable for the fish. Um, but we're just testing if it's too toxic for the fish with the nitrate and the nitrate. So uh, yeah, we're gonna run in there and go check out some tanks. It's gonna be kind of sketchy because we're gonna be sticking a thing inside of people's fish tank. It's, let's just go. All right, guys, so we're just back in the store. We have the test strips, and we're about to test a couple of tanks. We did have permissions, so that's pretty awesome. Um, and we're just going to be going around. They do test their water here, too, so that, that's a good thing, too. Um, so you just want to make sure your fish are healthy when you're getting them. And even if they're putting like conditions that are not the best for them, when you adapt them to your own tank and you make sure your water parameters are good, it'll be good for the fish and will get healthier and better. So um, this tank is currently open, so we're just going to like dip it in really quick, shake it around a little bit, take it out. We're going to have to wait for it to show us the results. So a lot of these tanks are connected on a singular like sump system, which is like really cool. See, it has an overflow skimmer and a return. So we're just gonna dip it in really quick and shake it around a little bit and then take it out. Okay, and now we're just gonna set it on here and just wait for the results to show up. Okay, so meanwhile, while we're waiting for the test to show us the results, they're like a lot of cool fish. Like this is like a little guppy tank. There aren't a lot of fish in these tanks right now. Um, they are getting like new fish they were telling us, but they have like amino shrimp and some and some x-ray catfish or like clear catfish and I love these guys so much. Glass catfish. Glass catfish. Okay, so it's been a little bit of time and you can just read the results. These last three should stay the same for most of these tanks because that's just their water. And these last two that we're looking at are more important, which are the nitrite and the nitrates. And you can see there's a little bit of pink, but that's not really a bad issue right now. And because of water changes and everything, that'll get rid of anything that is showing up right now. So we have one strip done. Okay, so now we're going to be doing something a little bit sketchier that probably will have some sort of higher results. And that is the feeder fish tank. So these fish are usually meant to feed bigger fish um, or other pets and like turtles and stuff. So these fish usually are not meant to keep in your aquarium. I bought a couple of these from my pond. Um, and that's just because they're cheaper and like they're like a goldfish or koi variety. Um, but yeah, let's let's test the tank. Okay guys, so I'm just opening it up. And uh, let's just stick it in for a couple seconds. Nitrate. Okay. Okay, so I am expecting these results to be a little bit higher, and that's just because there's so many fish, and when they get added, it's gonna flash the system. No matter how much beneficial bacteria they have built up, and how many water changes, it's still gonna affect it. Um, I'm sure these levels would change day to day. Um, and that's just how pet stores go. And a lot of people say, how can you have this many fish inside of one tank? And that's because they're not gonna be like this for a month or months on end. They're only here for a couple weeks and like a couple days for people to buy. Um, so that's just why they're able to keep that many fish in a small tank. So you can see that the nitrate is already so high. Yeah, that, that's high, like it's starting to turn more pink. So you can kind of, let's see if it's matching up. So I think these are parts per million. So it's like 80 parts per million of nitrate. But uh, let's do a couple more tanks and I'll save these other results and just add them up at the end and see how the tanks go. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's just line it up right here. Okay, so this was the first one with the shrimp and the guppies. This was the one with the goldfish. So you can just see the difference of the nitrite. Okay, so now we're gonna be doing a glowfish tank. So glowfish are really cool. Um, there's not really gonna be a difference because of species. It's just a different tank that we're gonna be testing. Oh, snap, bro, they're going up. They think it's food. Okay, so I took it out, laying it on the little tester, and then we're gonna leave it there for a second. So these test strips work also with saltwater tanks. So we're gonna be able to, oh my God. I don't know if they do, do they? Bro, wait, wait, look at this. Look at that clownfish. Do they work? That clownfish was huge. Do they work with saltwater tanks? But yeah, these work with saltwater too, so we're gonna test saltwater next. Um, but let's go over and put our results with the other ones and check how everything's going. Okay, so now we're gonna be testing the betta fish. So betta fish tanks are smaller individual tanks, so I'm not really expecting like high results, plus they change the water out in these more frequently. Um, but let's just take a look at some of the bettas. So I'm just gonna like dip it in directly in there. 
I don't know if I'm gonna get one of the bottom one. Yeah, I did. Okay. Okay, let's lay it on there. And now we'll just wait. So that was this betta. It was a koi female. So this is gonna be really cool because now we can just check how the betta fish are doing um, individually. How many of those do you have? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Oh, yeah. That's not. That's a lot. Okay, so this is the betta fish. So before we test the salt water, I'm gonna test this planted tank. So the plants are definitely gonna absorb a lot of these. Oh snap. Okay. It's a glass lid. It's a little heavier. Okay. So let's add it on and let's just see how it does. You know, this is really fun. Like I would love to just test water every day. Your whole life. My job. So let's go over to the salt water and check that out. Okay, so now we're gonna be testing this big salt water. Oh snap, there are a lot of fish in here. Oh bro, I love salt water. I, I wanna get some coral, I wanna try coral again. The salt water is not really different except for the pH levels. Um, so we're gonna be able to check those too. All right, so let's line everything up and just look at them for a sec. Oh, slip, dude, that'd be bad. For six tests? Yeah, so we did six tests today. All right, so we have all our test results right here. Um, we have the guppy tank, the goldfish tank, the glowfish tank, the betta fish tank, the planet tank, and then the saltwater tank. So these are all the different strips. You can see, again, like I was saying from the beginning, these three will be the same, and these are the only two that will change um, depending on the tanks. So uh, just so you guys know, this video is not sponsored by API in any way. Um, I do have a link down below if you want to test your own water, and if your levels are high, you can always do water changes to help relieve those or maybe boost up your filter or anything else like that. Get some new media that usually does help. So for all these hot spots, those are easily fixable. If you have that in your own tank, you can easily just replace the water. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna keep these and uh, yeah. Dude, I really, I really want to get a betta fish here. They're, I'll have to come back some other day. They're really cool. All right, guys, so we have all our test results, and I would love to say that this video was a success. We were able to check out Petco's water conditions and see what changes between tanks and what stays constant for their water. If you guys have any problems with your water, you can always do water changes or get plants. If you use the code CHALLENGER20 on h2oplants.com, you can get 10% off your order, and it will also help the channel, and you can check out some test results down below if you want to look at your own tanks. All right, guys, so if you want high-quality videos and other cool photos, make sure you guys check out my cameraman, Chase.Stallenberg, down below on Instagram. He makes some awesome photos and does some other awesome stuff. So, guys, make sure to check that out. Um, make sure you hit the like button, too, and the subscribe button if you haven't already. I will catch you all on the Flippity Flop. If you want me to check out some other pet stores and some other cool things in my local area or maybe in different, like, bigger stores, make sure you guys comment that down below. I'd love to check it out. This was really cool because different water qualities for different tanks, you can just, like, look at it and... It's just really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you share this on your fish forums if, if you want to teach other people about water quality or any friends that are into fish. So, all right. I'll catch you all on the flippy flop. See you all later. Bye.